Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative looking animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course on logo animation. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration over here we are going to choose let's say up to 10 seconds only. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now over here I'm going to select my ellipse tool and for the fill I'm going to choose somewhere around purple color, simply hit OK and we are going to create ellipse like this now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and let's do one thing we will decrease the size of this ellipse little bit select this press v and we will try to move this over here okay then press p for position uh, and now the position is 157 so let's make it around figure 150 so it would be better for us for calculation now select the shape layer hit ctrl d press p for position and let's make this uh, plus 500 so i think 500 is too much so let's go hit ctrl z and let's make this plus 400 yeah 400 would be good select this hit ctrl d press p again select this again type plus 400 like this now select all of these layers and we will change the position simultaneously until unless this middle one the anchor point of this middle one should be properly at the center like this okay so we will get something like this now after that right click hit new and we will create one null object select this hit enter and let's call it as main okay and then we will select this layer which is uh, at the top i'm going to select this hit enter and let's call it as top and also bring this at the top and select this and we will make it apparent with this main one why we did that we will discuss this later now after that what we are going to do i'm going to select this layer and this layer by holding shift and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring them at the top and i'll change the color of this one to whatever color we want i'm going to choose this one just to refer that these two are different colors i mean different layers then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and from here to here i'm going to create one rectangle okay and hit u again now select this layer and also change the color of this one to pink now select all of these layers like this shape layer top and this rectangle press ctrl shift c and we will call it as mask and hit ok okay so this is our mask layer this is our null object and these are our shape layers okay now after that we need to create our bouncing animation so i'm going to select my ellipse tool and i'm going to chill select somewhere around like this color and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse let's do one thing we will try to use different color like this maybe and simply hit ok select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and press p for position and we will bring this out of this ellipse create one keyframe ok then go somewhere around 1.15 frames and we will bring this downwards up to this ok go to the start and try to move this upward now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor like this okay right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this uh, graph and by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of ball uh, balling animation i mean falling animation let's simply move this up to one second so we will get this kind of animation over here now select this hit enter and let's call it as ball and we will bring this downwards and in track mat uh, simply press f4 to get this 
and choose alpha mat so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation now uh, when this is somewhere around over here i am going to select this null object and if you guys know that this top one is paired with this one so i'll select this null object i'll press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe then i'll go somewhere around two seconds maybe and i'm going to make it 180 so what will happen over here this will come automatically over here like this and if you want to check out whether this is properly uh, coming over here you can simply select this one and change the color of this to red and you can bring this at the top so you will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 let's minimize this so if you see you will get this kind of animation then i'm going to select the stop ball i'll press s create one keyframe and unlink this go somewhere around over here in the middle and change the size to somewhere around like this go to the last select this and hit ctrl c ctrl v first keyframe select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this now we will get something like this now we will delete this extra red layer which is at the top so if you see this now first we will get this and then we will get this now i'm going to select this top and this main i'm going to select those keyframes and i'm going to move reduce the duration up to 1.20 frames only like this okay let's move this over here yeah then select both these layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as top again like this go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to search for eco effect simply double click to apply and go to the maximum min options change the number of echoes to 60 over here and eco time over here we will select this reading and we will simply reduce this first three and we will add zero over there like this and now let's make this quarter resolution just to check out the animation we will get something like this now after that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's make the scale to 80 press p for position and let's bring this over here i think not 80 let's make this 100 only like this press p for position and we will bring this somewhere around over here now after that i'll press ctrl r oops sorry uh, let's hit ctrl z over here this is our animation here let's see like go to the start and we will bring this downwards like this first of all make sure that you are at the starting keyframe and create one keyframe then uh, go to the start press ctrl r to get our ruler and we will bring one ruler let's make this full resolution zoom in and we will add this line over here again we will add this line over here just for our reference let's make this fit and let's choose quarter resolution so as this animation ends which is around two seconds i'm going to select this and i'll move this over here and this uppermost layer should be inside this line so let's make this full resolution again and we will move this over here like this and let's make this fit and let's make this quarter and hit add so if you see this now we will get this kind of continuous animation and in full resolution it will take a little bit time to load but the final output would be in the form of loop okay so this is how you can create this kind of simple looping animation inside of after effects